Hey everyone, this is Coach Logan. What we're doing here today is every minute on the minute, 10 wall balls. So those 10 wall balls took about 20 seconds. And I'm saying, Logan, why are you why are you doing 10 wall balls every minute? Like, what is this for? So there's this little competition, a fitness competition called High Rocks. You can look it up on the internets. It is eight stations with a 1K run between each station, not in any particular order. You have some wall balls, you have burpee, broad jumps, farmer carries, sandbag, lunges. You also have sled push and pull. And then you have a bike and no, you don't have a bike, liar. You have a ski in a row. I would like for there to be a bike, but I could see how that would be a little bit cumbersome to get those into the arenas. So they have these throughout the United States, Europe, overseas. They basically run out a convention center or some sort of small arena. Have you run a thousand meter course track? It could be a 500 meter done twice. Just depends on the venue. Best times in the world are around an hour. There's a pro division, there is an open division. The only difference between the pro and the open division are the weights. So you will do less weight in the open division, you will do more weight in the pro division for all of the stations that require implements to have load. So as I was progressing through these wall balls, I was doing every minute on the minute 10 repetition to a total of 200 reps, I got kind of bored. So I decided to pivot to 15 wall balls every minute on the minute after it already done five rounds. So I'm at 50 wall balls total now, pivoting to 15 every minute on the minute. And I had no idea how much I'd be able to do. Hadn't done this many wall balls in a while. Wall balls used to be my favorite thing to do when I participated in CrossFit more frequently. But for this instance, I wanted to at least get 100 wall balls because the volume in which you need to do at the end of the High Rocks fitness race is 100 wall balls. So after running an 8K, after doing all that other stuff before, you do 100 wall balls. If you are familiar with all without with the CrossFit community, there is a workout called Karen. So in CrossFit, they name the workouts just so you can kind of have a standard. It's a lot better to track it. Like, oh, what's your blah, blah time? Just a way, if you guys are familiar with Nobi, tracking, progressing, figuring out to how to do a little bit better, that's the goal. So the CrossFit, they just named the workout so you knew, oh, I've been improving, I've been improving. Karen is 150 wall balls for time. So I've trained for that before. I'm very familiar with wall balls. So you use a 20 pound wall ball and you throw to a 10 foot target the yellow line at the gym is nine feet and then above it is 10. At High Rocks, you'll be shooting for 10 and nine, same. The open weights for High Rocks are 10 pounds for females, 14 pounds for males. I was using a 20 pound ball at this point in time. I was not aware that I would not be doing the pro division. Still not fully aware that I won't be doing the pro division, but I don't think I am at this moment. It will be in Washington, D.C. at the end of March. So I have several months to get trained up for it. If it was pro, my goal would have been sub 75 minutes. But because it's not pro, I definitely need to get sub 75. Wrapping up the last round of 15 wall balls here. Just a good deep squat, hips going below parallel, getting a good toss at the top. Trying to let my shoulders relax as I toss it up. At high rocks, you're gonna get kind of packed in so you don't have the ability to flip out your arms. Normally it'd be like a YMCA type of thing. So letting it go and go Y to the back to the end and then you'd come back over to your A. That's the best way to let the shoulders relax, but I'm 
six two, two hundred 200 and something pounds. So a 20 pound wall ball is roughly 10% of my weight. So if you want a comparison of what that should feel like for somebody, take 10% of your weight and kind of try to throw it overhead. But this, now we have burpees. So before, like I said, there's wall balls and there's burpee broad jumps. I didn't want to jump around the gym. So for here, I gave myself a six inch target to have to hit every time to mimic that little hop that I'll need to do at least for the broad jumps. Way back in the day, there used to be a thing called the burpee mile where you would do a burpee broad jump for an entire mile. Uh, it's a terrible thing. I don't recommend it for anybody. Uh, you, it's just a CrossFit it's stuff. It's, it's a dumb thing to do that kids used to do in CrossFit gyms. This was like 12 years ago. Wouldn't recommend it for anybody. What you'll notice on that first minute was that I did 10 repetition. And then on this second minute, I'm going to do 11. Third minute, I'm going to do 12 and so on and so on until I'm no longer able to complete the amount of repetition within that minute. This is a death by format or just a sending repetition per minute. So it is still an EMOM every minute on the minute, but you have progressing reps. So it's not much of if you're going to fail, I was going to say when you're going to fail, but it is definitely a matter of when you're going to fail. So at some point, eventually, you're not going to be able to do X amount of burpees in a minute. I started off at 10, had no idea if this would be leading up to a good stimulus for me, good volume within the burpees. Haven't done burpees to a six inch target in forever long. So at this point in time, looking at my face, I knew it was going to be tough. I'd walk away so I could curse, curse into the distance. Easy way to keep track of this one, 10 repetition on minute zero, 11 repetition, the start of minute, well, it'll be one, but 21 here, 12 for 22, three is 23, so 13 reps, 14 reps, 15 reps, at that start of that minute is how many I'm trying to get to. So here I started going for 12 repetition in the minute, started to get into a little bit of a groove, didn't even have to look up at the bar anymore, was able to get contact with it every time. Simple thing for a burpee, just plop down like a fish on the deck of a sea, SpongeBob, SquarePants kind of thing, and fling your body up there, hoping for the best. Burpees aren't meant to be pretty. If you do enough burpees in time, even that facial expression is not ready for that many burpees. You kind of get used to it. There are several ways to familiarize yourself with the burpee. You can do 100 days of burpees. So burpee day one is, well, technically, Day zero, because you do 100 burpees for time to set your standard because you need to know that you're progressing. Day one, you do one. Day two, you do two. Day two, you do three. Until you get to 100 burpees. And then you do it again. And then hopefully your time improved. That's 5,050 burpees in 100 days for the math of that. Where people run into issues is life is hard. So if you have 100 days where you have to do burpees and something gets in the way, you have to make it up. So no matter what, at the end of 100 days, I guess in some weird, sick, twisted way, you could not do burpees for 100 days. And then on the 100th day, do 5,050 burpees and you'd survive. But the goal is to build in consistency and progression with the burpee. So day one, one, day two, two. Oh, you missed day three. Here comes day four. You have to do seven. Fourteen burpees. Airball.
So with me, I try to land flat-footed, get that little bounce, that rhythm, little light touch. At this time, I had sweat marks on the floor where I could see specifically where I need to place my hands, so I was able to get into a good rhythm there. Also, I don't know whose water bottle that is. If, you, if that's your water bottle, comment below that you left your water bottle in the gym and now it made its own cameo into here. Barely made it in. Here's the last round. I'll let you guys enjoy it. Ooh, just barely. This is gonna be my training style for the next foreseeable future until high rocks to get me ready aerobically, build in the density, and there will be lots of running. Follow along, subscribe if you haven't already. This is gonna be the journey, more videos, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Till next time.